So yesterday, the official trailer for the Five Nights at Freddy's movie released onto YouTube without it actually being linked this time. Yep, an official release for the trailer is here, and I wanted to give my thoughts on it real quick since I do got quite a bit of them. Was the trailer good, or did it suck? Well, let's just get started. Spoilers incoming, by the way. So basically, to get out of the way, the animatronic designs in this I actually love. Like, a lot. They're accurate to the original FNAF 1 designs, and they look like they have the plushy fur feel and texture that the original designs had, which I'm all for. Their movements are also stellar. They are very lively in this, and it's genuinely something that will probably end up terrifying in the film. I will say though, I am very mixed on the red eyes. It's the only aspect of this trailer and the movie so far that I see general criticism towards. For one, they don't look bad, it's not out of place or anything. However, I do think the red eyes push it a little bit when it comes to how the horror in the first FNAF game was handled. The pure magic of the horror with the first FNAF game was that the animatronics looked uncanny as hell and they were able to do that without exaggerated forms of horror like in other horror media at the time. The designs were just normal animatronics and they succeeded in horror through their looks and the cameras. I'm sure they'll still be present in the movie, but the point is, they didn't rely on typical red eyes to be scary. If they had the possessed white eyes like the animatronics usually do in the games, then I think that would have gone over much better with people, and I would have definitely preferred it too. As well, I'm also somewhat mixed on Freddy's endoskeleton having saws, kinda over the top from the looks of it, but maybe it'll end up working in the final movie and it might actually look cool. Who knows? Those are my critiques when it comes to the animatronics themselves. However, unlike certain people I've seen online, I don't consider these things a doomer moment for the movie because literally besides the red eyes and saws and the endoskeletons, I think the animatronics look awesome and I cannot wait to see them on the big screen. So basically the trailer starts off with an 80s-esque VHS training tape style which I adore as the 80s is an important decade for the franchise's lore and it just looks so accurate. It captures weird nostalgic feelings you know, it reminds me of the old Chuck E. Cheese commercials for some reason. Also gotta love that ball pit man. We are then brought into the horror of the movie in this trailer, which let me just say, the atmosphere is once again fucking stellar just like the original FNAF. It looks like it's going for that haunted, alone, eerie feeling, and it's so spot on. The aesthetic showcased throughout the whole trailer looks amazing and is by far the best part about this trailer. The location is literally perfect. Now, there's the sound design in this movie, whether that be sounds or music. In terms of the sounds, the general ambience for the first half of the trailer while Mike is starting his shift sounds really terrifying in a haunting way. You've been selected as Freddy's newest security guard. And holy shit, the child laughter. <laughs> Actually gives me shivers down my spine. In terms of music, it does have the generic trailer build-up music for the second half of the trailer, but the rest of the music, where it's a variation of the Tordor March, both at the beginning and during the title, Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, where fantasy and fun come to life. Genuinely perfect. Might even rival the original. And that's basically my thoughts on the trailer. Needless to say, I loved it a lot. With the aesthetic and atmosphere looks terrifying and has a certain horror essence to it, the sound design for the most part is really good, and the animatronics for the most part look fantastic. I cannot wait for this movie. It genuinely looks promising. I cannot wait for October later this year.